Today, soldiers from the United Arab Emirates Special Forces prepare for their next assignment, a tour in Afghanistan. They are heading there on behalf of the UAE, provide humanitarian aid, maintain security, and support development in remote communities. But this is no ordinary relief effort. Afghanistan is rife with conflict, and these soldiers will need every bit of their training to accomplish their mission. ومثل ما يعني ديننا الحنيفي حث أن نحن نساعد المسلمين ونساعد مو بليس المسلمين فقط أي شخص يحتاج للمساعدة. In the past half century, few nations have witnessed more conflict than Afghanistan. With military action on their soil in every decade since the 1970s, many Afghans have spent their entire lives in a state of instability. Social and economic development have suffered greatly from the endless turmoil. Let's be very real about where we stand. I mean, up to the day, for females, the life expectancy is still 44 years old of age, so that's far too long. 50 Afghan women die every day during childbirth. What should have been a happy day for the family becomes a disaster for 50 Afghan families every day. With regard to school access, 42% of the youngsters, of the kids, still do not have access to school. With regard to health services, if you look closely, then you see that only 14% of the Afghan population do have health services readily available around them, but 85% do not. If we cannot resolve the security situation today in Afghanistan, then that will always negatively affect the humanitarian situation. And in turn, as a vicious circle, if we cannot really tackle the humanitarian situation and provide for the Afghan population a better life overall, we will have that continued conflict. So we need to tackle both in the same token. You cannot disconnect them. The situation is still dire today. A group of armed militants has brought the country to its knees. Using violence and intimidation, they disrupt the delivery of aid and represent a constant threat to civilians and military personnel. They fund their activities through the sale of illegal drugs and extortion, threatening the long-term future of Afghanistan. Since 2001, an international force has been present in Afghanistan, confronting insurgents while supporting the Afghan people. An active member of this coalition has been the United Arab Emirates, a small nation situated on the Arabian Peninsula, and one of the only Islamic countries whose troops have seen active combat in Afghanistan. The UAE mission breaks down into three main categories. One, humanitarian assistance. Two, to ensure a certain level of security and stability in certain pockets of what is essentially still hostile parts of Afghanistan. And three, to assist with social and economic development for the people of Afghanistan and the communities where the UAE forces are deployed. That way, once the UAE withdraws, there is a lasting impact and benefit for Afghanistan. Forward Operating Base Robinson, a coalition military base deep in the Sangin Valley, Helmand Province. Ground zero for some of the worst fighting in the ongoing conflict in Afghanistan. A rotation of soldiers from the UAE Special Forces will call this base home for the next six months. For years, 
Troops from the UAE have used this base as a launching pad for the delivery of humanitarian aid. And they have carried out this work under constant threat of attack from insurgents. Captain Saeed from the UAE Special Forces heads out with his team. Their mission today is to protect a medical clinic set up by the UAE. Less than 100 meters from their camp, they're already on high alert. Despite the danger in the area, troops continue with their security sweep. Meanwhile, the doctors from the UAE open their clinic. Two eyes? Captain Saeed and his team continue their patrol. With the medical clinic now open, they must do everything they can to maintain security. To do this successfully, they need to be able to interact with the local community. إذا أنت تعاملت مع الناس هاي له بمبدأ معين له مبدأ المساواة والعدالة والاحترام وأعطاهم حقهم في الحياة راح يستمرون معك لكن أنت إذا غيرت التعامل هذا ما ما حد راح يقدر يتقبل فيجب أنك تتدخل معهم بالمساواة بالعدل بالاحترام بالمساعدة عشان يقدرون يستمرون معك تواجدنا كقوات عربية مسلمة في دولة أفغانستان هذا اللي ساعدنا كثير طبعا اللغة حاجز اللغة صعب بس حاجز الدين ما في حاجز فهذا ساعدنا كثير توصلنا لقلوب الشعب الأفغان أسهل الطرق Captain Saeed has received a tip about insurgent activity in the area yeah, it's big. Well, lately they started to put ID to disrupt our work here in the, in the clinic. IEDs, or improvised explosive devices, are crudely constructed bombs designed to maim or kill. They are the single largest cause of death or injury to coalition soldiers in Afghanistan. Captain Saeed believes local villagers may have information about IEDs planted nearby. However, Getting information is not always easy. Who you are, but scared of you. صح صح أنت ما تقدر لكن أنت يوم تعرف ماذا إذا تعرفون ساعدونا نحن خبرونا. Piecing together what they've learned, the troops zero in on the likely location of the bombs. But finding them is no easy task. Lately, insurgents have changed their approach making the IEDs harder to detect. New technique they use, you know. We can't find them because it's plastic sometimes. They not use the steel one. After a search, the troops find the IEDs buried along a village path less than 100 meters from the clinic. 
Two IDs, one is pressure plates, victim operated, another is a command wire, command initiated. With great care, the first bomb is diffused. But the second IED still remains and will explode if the team attempts to disarm it. So they choose a different approach. Inside, the clinic continues. But First Lieutenant Dr. Mana knows the UAE still has much work ahead. To move troops and supplies between bases around the country, the UAE relies on its helicopter crews and some advanced military hardware. تنفيذ المهام في أفغانستان عن طريق طائرة البلاك هوك له دور فعال وهام جدا بالنسبة إلى عدم قدرة أو الوصول إلى بعض مناطق العمليات أو بعض مناطق الخدمات الإنسانية للمتواجدة فيها جنود وأفراد القوات يصعب التواصل إليها فطائرة البلاك هوك هي السبيل الوحيد أو السبيل الفعال لتوصيل هذه المساعدات Heavily loaded with troops and supplies, the Black Hawk is a prime target for insurgents. For protection, it relies on its more aggressive cousin, the Apache. Designed for close air support, the Apache gunship is an airborne bodyguard for other aircraft and coalition troops on the ground. Just 10 kilometers south of Camp Robinson in the medical clinic, the security situation is tense. Here, at Hyderabad 1, the UAE special forces are working to protect local villagers while insurgents attempt to destabilize the area. How you doing, guys? For many, this is a reunion of old friends. The soldiers of Hyderabad 1 live a simple existence. Living quarters are small, and communication is limited. There are no cell phones or running water. The UAE troops live and work together here for months at a time worlds away from the luxuries of home. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Attacks by insurgents are a constant threat. Recently, mortars have landed in the camp. The area is so dangerous, supplies must be dropped in by air. Despite the dangers, Hyderabad 1 is not considered the front line. Just a kilometer away is base 625, a forward outpost of Hyderabad 1, and it's under attack.
ثم سقوط قذيفة هاون على بعد يقدر من 100 إلى 150 متر من موقعنا، آريو 5 أهل السلم. الحمد لله لا توجد خسائر أو إصابات. Here at Base 625, the UAE troops protect a bridge that has become a lifeline for the people of this area. But insurgents are trying to destroy it. هذا الساعة 12 الحين حاليا هو مسدد في الساعة 12. أكثر مكان يشكل خطورة طبعاً. نعم هذا أكثر مكان يشكل خطورة. في بعض التجمعات من القوات العادية. طبعاً باتجاه الساعة 12 من بعد الجسر اللي هو تقريباً. حماية اللي نحن نحمي الجسر هذا ومن بعده تكون شوي المنطقة أخطر اللي هي الأرض الخضراء. In places such as Base 625, the UAE troops frequently come into contact with the enemy. طبعا اشتبكنا مع المتمردين في الاسواق في غرة في وديان حتى في مرة اشتبكنا معنا يعني كمية من المساعدات الانسانية برافو برافو ياس خمسة كيف تسمعني After a recent skirmish at base 625 Captain Abdullah heads out to a local village He needs to find out who's behind the recent attacks من ألفا واحد إلى أيرون فايف بلغ سراب واحد سمعنا أن في عناصر من طالبان يراقبونا وفي رماية احتمال رماية رشاشات السلام عليكم سنجي As the soldiers meet with local villagers the surrounding area is secured صحيح فتش فتش الشخص فتش السيارة أوكي Okay, صحيح قلنا نحن نحن نبذل جهدنا لردع القوات المعادية وإن شاء الله في يوم من الأيام بيه ما بيكون في طالبان بس بمساعدتهم هم Lieutenant Saif is the leader of the UAE Special Forces in Maroof, an isolated community in the mountains of eastern Afghanistan. To many, this area is showing great progress. Basic needs have been met, and a relative degree of calm has been established. When the UAE first arrived here eight months ago, people were living without proper access to food and water, and security was a major concern, especially in the local market, a major target for insurgents. الحمد لله من قدوم قوة الإمارات اللي معروف تنفضل قواتنا رد الأمن إلى السوق أنا اللي لاحظته من قدوم إلى هني في هاي المنطقة يمكن الحين حوالي عشرين محل بطلن غير الكان الخمس محلات كان مبطلة بس وهذه الخمسة كانوا ما بين يسكرون المحلات ولا يخلونهن لأن كان الخوف وايد من طالبان. قل له هذا ولدك يشتغل عندك. بس ما زيدي هو. 
بس اللي زاد ورفع الحمد لله المستوى هذا المستوى الامني في معروف تعاون السكان المحليين من خلال تبليغنا في حاله وجود اي نشاطات للعدو تبليغنا عن اماكن العبوات عشان نجعل المعروف مكان امن لسكانها Today, the Emirati troops are working with the local community on more than 50 development projects, including a new mosque and a new school. To discuss these plans with local leaders, Lieutenant Saif and the district governor have convened a Shura meeting, which will take place in two days' time. The Shura meetings are vital for the future of this region. But in the past, insurgents have threatened the lives of anyone who takes part. رأي المتمردين بالشورى اللي نقوم بها الحين أن لازم يحاربونا لازم يوقفونها لأن تجمع الشعب مع بعض ومع الحكومة الأفغانية يعني معناتها شيء أنهم السكان المحليين يبعدون عن دعم القوات المحادية. هذا اللي نبغى اذا الناس تعاونت ويانا احنا نقدر نتعاون نوفر لهم الامن والامان والمساعدات ونطور معروف نباها نس عندها Lieutenant Saif is trying to convince a group of tribal leaders to participate in tomorrow's Shura meeting but fear of insurgents is still strong اغتم تشو وغوري مقصد تشو سدايم زرا لون ستا سركشن اصلا زيغار دي كاول اي سي تي ما لا تد خبل كور سر غريبتار كي يو مسبو مزدارت واي تي تي تقال تقال اغدا سني دي تشي مثال تانغ لري توب لري تياره لري بيا دا سراي دي يا برنوستيكاس بور دي دار لري تاي بي جيني ستدا يا دا كار كي بدا نشط سي اغاز ما جاني بمقابل ورتواي ازما بكون كي اغاز لري ورتواي هو تاني بالضرر ده بالضرر بس يا the day of the Shura meeting, and the UAE soldiers are out in force. في يوم الشورى هذا نحن كنا ما نعرف كم العدد اللي بيحضر بس يوم شفنا العدد الكبير اللي حضر أن هذه الشورى بتكون ناجحة شفنا زيادة في عدد الناس اللي جو الشورى وما كانوا اي ناس يعني ناس كانوا ناس اصحاب قرار كانوا كبار القرى فهم اللي اللي ممكن ناخذ القرار منهم في هالامور هاي في النهايه اقدر اقول ان الشورى كانت ناجحه اليوم Outside, the UAE soldiers are preparing aid packages for those who made the long journey into town. Uh, 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طبعا هذه قوات الامارات الموجوده في افغانستان وهم يجهزون عدات البرد اللي هي الجاكيتات وطبعا العاب حق الاطفال حق الشعب الافغاني I think the first thing the people in the UAE should know is that they need to be very, very proud of what the UAE forces have been doing in Afghanistan since 2003. On a daily basis, UAE forces provide assistance, ensure stability, they risk their lives, they put themselves in danger to provide a certain level of security for the Afghani people that we in the UAE take for granted. نحن فخورين طبعا ان نحن نكون في هذه الارض لمساعده الشعب الافغاني ومساعده الشعب المسلم لخروجه من من الوضع اللي هو فيه الى وضع افضل واحسن في سلام في امن يرفع من مستوى المعيشه لهذا الشعب ولو الشعب الافغاني بصراحه افخر اني عملت في قوه الواجب في افغانستان لاني حققت هدف لنفسي ساعدت ناس الحمد لله اعطتني الفرصه دولتي اني اقوم بهالشيء ففي النهايه انا احس اني راضي عن نفسي بالعمل اللي قمت به